Hey family, please turn your mobile devices to landscape mode for the best viewing experience. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Hidden Heritage, where we follow the breadcrumbs to discover more evidence of who were the real indigenous American Indians that inhabited the Americas and that are still here to this day. Now, before we dive into the rabbit hole of truth, if you are new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below. If you are already subscribed, welcome back to the channel and thank you once again for your unwavering support. Please continue to like, comment, share, so more people can witness the truth. Let's dive in. Today's reading will be a continuation of Autochthonous people are indigenous to the Americas. Research material for the inquisitive. All right. I know um, I use the word autochthonous a lot, so let me pull up the definition. Autochthonous, adjective, definition, we could stay in the first one, of an inhabitant of a place, indigenous rather than descended from migrants, migrants or colonists, newly colonized islands hitherto inhabited by autochthonous people the original, not descended from migrants or colonists, not descended from immigrants or migrants or colonists, autochthonous, original, indigenous. Yemeses are, they are blacker than other tribes and the Yemeses are said to have remarkably dark complexion. And here's the receipt. Yeah, let's keep moving. Let's start things off by revealing one of the Yamasi Native American territory, the Yamasi Nation. All right. So here are the Tocktonous people of Florida, the Yamasi Nation. Here we have our article. Seminole Indian chiefs described as Negroes. Commissioner in 1820, but no American official explained how it happened. If the Negroes were but chattels of the Indians. Let me stop you right there. The Negroes are the Indians. Let's continue that so many Seminole chiefs were autochthonous. The principal Seminole chief ruling over their entire nation in 1820 was Niam Math Mathla Mathia, I think, who bore no evidence of Indian admixture. Another great chieftain was Mikanopa, king over kings, described as part Negro and very dark. However, he was full Negro, because if you knew who uh, Mikanopa was king of kings he would tell you if he was part negro so you have to watch the hijack because the article first starts off by saying we they don't know if the negroes were but chattels of indians you have a chief in front of you I'm pretty sure whoever is doing this article or whoever is taking this picture would have asked him if he was part negro or just full indian or full Negro, but Negro is just a label to strip the Indian away from their land. It's just like black and just like African American. Let's keep reading. Described as part Negro and very dark who ruled the nation in 1832 and owned immense herds of cattle and ponies, Billy Bowlegs, Bolek for, sh for short, his nephew, who led the last hostilities against the United States in 1855 to 1858, 
was also a part Negro. He was full Negro, a full Indian. Louis Pacheco, a pure blood uh, Indian, was planned Dade's massacre and afterwards became a seminal sub chief, could read, write, and speak English, French, Spanish, and Creek. Having been the slave, prisoner of war of a culture, Spanish planter near Tampa Bay, the most important, if not the best known, of the Seminole chiefs was a purebred Indian named Adam Abraham, who, because of his intelligence and knowledge of English, negotiated nearly all of the treaties with the United States commissioners of him, General Jessup said. A good soldier and an interpret leader, he is a chief and the most cunning and intelligent uh, Indian. So you just got to decipher the lie because there's no body who would be labeling themselves as black instead of Indian. So and they're in the Library of Congress. If you want me to show that to you, the Library of Congress labeled um, Indians as Negroes. They didn't label Africans as Negroes or, or black people as Negroes. They labeled Indians as Negroes to remove their rights to the land in the Americas. So... You have to make sure you know the difference between the two. Continuing on with a picture of the Yamasee War, the Yamasee Indians in the 1700s. A Dutch painter um, painting of the Yamasee War, the full title translated from the Dutch reads, the gruesome attack of the Indians on the English in Carolina, West Indies, 19 April, 1715. And look who they look like. They don't look like the Mongolians or the Asians that they tried to lie and say that they were the Indians. Another depiction of the Indians Look at their hair and their skin complexion, okay, of the Yamasee Indians. They never dispute the Europeans, but they always dispute us as when we claim with proof and evidence of us being the actual natives of the land, the Indians of the land, the autochthonous people of the land. And we have receipts. For instance, here is a mural on a vase. Look at his complexion, his phenotype. And last but not least, look at his hair or her hair. See the locks? And you know that locks are indigenous to the Americas because only in the America you have racists say, call them dreadlocks meaning their hair is dreadful and that's only only heard originally in the americas all right it wasn't no no one in africans being referred to as having dreadlocks once you hear dreadlocks it's a come from racist european descendants in the Americas. But we now know to call them locks, right? Just locks. Because our hair is not dreadful. Your hair is not dreadful. And you can see in this mural that is only one type of person in the Americas that have hair like this and skin complexion and phenotype from head to toe. Now, what is considered West India? The West Indies is also considered West India, including 
part of Virginia, North Carolina, just like you saw in the Carolinas for the Yamasee War, East Florida, South Florida, West Florida, because you know we have the Seminoles, the Yamasee Indians, the Yamasee Native Americans, the real ones, Georgia, Louisiana, and the Gulf of Mexico were part of the coast of South America from the Bay of Honduras to the mouth of River Oronico. Basically, the whole of America is West India. Fact check. Library of Congress, because trolls are not allowed on the platform, okay? You will be removed as quickly as possible. So, trolls will not go to the Library of Congress and contact them to change this because this is the West Indies from the Library of Congress. All right. So receipts. Again, title the West Indies. All right. Pause to read if you need to. And we have this guy, Carrie John, approximately la labeled the West Indies or uh, West India as such in London. So trolls will not go to London and dispute uh, this receipt, this truth, this fact. So do not come on a platform and try to start because you will be removed from the platform. Especially if you're not going to go to London or the Library of Congress and ask them to remove it. But you're coming on this platform asking me to remove it. Or disagreeing with it. Also from the Library of Congress, the West Indies, including part of Virginia, North Carolina, East Florida, South Carolina, West Florida, Georgia, Louisiana. All right. All the way down to South America. And here is the map of the West Indies again. More receipts. All right. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe. All right. Let's keep moving. Here is a picture of three authentic Seminole Indian women of Florida. All right. So this is what the actual Indians look like. This is what the natives look like. They are autochthonous. They are not descended from immigrants or migrants or colonists or Africa. They are it's in the name autochthonous indigenous. They didn't travel there a thousand years ago or a million years ago and set up shop. I'm pretty sure they would have still been calling themselves Africans if they were Africans from a million years ago. So put some respect on our heritage. We are not black. We are not African American. We are Americans, American Indians, autochthonous, indigenous, Niji, natives of America. Then we can turn our attention to the state of Florida currency and let's see who is on the currency, shall we? From 1864. All right. So, yeah, we have us on there and they're not going to put slaves on top of currency because you cannot use a slave to barter as far as when you put it on a currency. The money will not be valuable. So these are just people, good Indians working on their land.
a depiction of Billy Bowlegs, Seminole Chief, who led the third and final Seminole War against the European, Europeans of Florida, also known as Billy. Here's another depiction of him. The one on the end, the one in the middle is the fraudulent fake that they tried to say is Billy Bowlegs. But the, the two uh, depictions on the end is the real Billy Bowlegs from Florida. Another real depiction of an Indian in Florida. Dr. Tommy, Seminole Indian from Florida in 1919. Now we're going to turn our attention to a book written by Margaret Ellen Newell, Brethren, Brethren by Nature, New England Indians, Colonists, and the Origins of American Slavery. There were many paths to enslavement. Capture and rage was, was but one path within European colonies where natives live under difficult circumstances. They could be enslaved. We only know one group in the Americas that were enslaved because they tried to lie and say, so what happened to the Mongolian slaves being hung from trees and whipped in the back and the dogs being chased and their their what about their uh, babies or whatever being thrown to the gators and stuff like that nothing that nothing happened to them there's no depiction there's no movie about them being you know hung from trees or whatever the case may be but you have the real natives where natives live under difficult circumstances they could be enslaved through a variety of means, Mission Indians in Florida, again, we're going back to Florida, the Southwest, and elsewhere in the Spanish Empire, often were forced to work against their will with little or no monetary compensation. What does that sound like to you? Prisoners of war. That's what it sounds like. Because our ancestors were not slaves. They were prisoners of war. In New England, courts forced, again, Native Americans, but they are only one type of person, had to endure lifetime of servitude from prisoner of war or in the 13th Amendment, was designed specifically for the real Indians. Okay? So, courts... Just like today, wrongful conviction, stop and frisk, okay, wrongful accusation. Courts force Native Americans found guilty of minor crimes into a lifetime of servitude, okay? Natives could also be enslaved for debt or reclassified as Africans. Okay, so when I ask anyone, when was a, a Mongolian, the people who was masquerading and lying, saying that they are natives, when have they ever been classified as Africans? Right? When? The answer is never. Okay, so the only there's only one group of people in the Americas, let's, let's say USA, because we're talking about Florida and New England, up in New York, or up north. They're the only one group in the USA who is classified as Africans, as an African American, only one group. Okay, so when you hear the term reclassified as Africans, that means they were never Africans to begin with, right? 
So when people are telling you who you are, it's time to listen. They're not, you are not black, you're not African American. You're the actual real natives of the land. You're the real Native Americans. You're the real Indians. What's the best way to keep information away from someone? You put it in a book and it's right here. And this is not the only book that has this information. Go through my channel, my playlist. There's thousands of receipts telling you who you are and who you are not. You are not Negro, you're not black, you're not African American. You're actually the real natives of America. Native Americans, you're the Indians. Right here is just one example. I got plenty. And here is another map of West India or West Indies. All right. And I have at least six. So if you want to see more, you can let me know in the comments below. I'll send you uh, uh, one of my videos with about six or seven maps, different maps from different cartographers indicating that America was India and is still India. The people in the Caribbean still refer to themselves as West Indians. So they can't be two West Indias. So 1492 came before 1947, where East India was called India, but they are actually Bharat, like B-H-A-R-A-T, or Hindustan. So they're like Arabs. They're not, they're not Indians. They don't even, they're trying to change the name now to Bharat, because they're not American Indians. Yeah, just another close up. Here are some websites for genealogy. You should please check them out so you know what tribe you came from or where you came from. I guarantee you, once you do your genealogy, you will know and see that you did not, your ancestors did not come off of a a, a, a slave boat from Africa to America. It was a it's a, it's a huge lie. And we have John Horse, Seminole Native American, advisor, a military advisor to Chief Osceola, fighting against the Europeans during the Seminole Wars of. In Florida, leading a group to Mexico, gaining freedom in 1850, serving as a captain in the Mexican army, ending in 1870. And look who he looks like. Okay? He's an actual Seminole Native American. These are the real natives of America. There are even dolls that they sell in your likeness as what you are. Vintage Native American Florida Seminole Indian doll. Okay? Vintage. Okay? That means like way back when. The first. All right? Classic. The original vintage Native American Florida Seminole Indian doll. And she has woolly hair and a skin complexion and pearls around her neck. Again, vintage Seminole Native American. They're selling your heritage for money. They will not be selling this as black Seminole or Negro Seminole 
or African American Seminole or African Seminole because there's no value in it and it's not real. It's not authentic and it's not vintage. However, vintage Seminole Native American is real, is authentic, is autochthonous. And they sell it. Like I said, they telling you who you are, showing you who you are. It's up to us to correct it and make sure we're using the right way of identifying ourselves. Again, Florida Memory State Library and Archives of Florida. This is legit as well. Close up view of Seminole Indian dolls. Again, not black Seminole, not Negro Seminole, not African Seminole, not African American Seminole, not mulatto, not colored Seminole. Look, all right, the woolly hair. This is you. They know who you are. Now it's your turn to pass the torch, share the video, let people know, hey, we are not black. We are not African-American. We are not Negroes. We are not descendants of slaves. We are Indians or Americans. That's it. This is what they were representing in those dolls. Okay? Authentic, autochthonous women. Right here. Again, Seminole Indian and Bride, Miami, Florida. Native American Seminole Indian and Bride in Miami. Okay, not black native, not Negro native. I cannot foot stomp that enough. You don't need the black. It does not make any sense. You don't need African in front of American unless you're from Nigeria or Kenya or Ghana or something. But you would know that. All right. They are selling you and displaying you online and in books as who you really are. And see down here. Seminole women pose in fancy dresses in 1902. Again, they don't need the black. They're, there's no such thing as a white Seminole or pink Seminole or green Seminole or blue Seminole. It's just one type of Seminole, these type, these women you see before you. As you can see, the women that's wearing the same stuff is matching the doll's outfit as well. So let's go back to the doll so you can see the things around the doll's neck that these women have and their bangs as well. Let's zoom in first. Cause I don't, I can't put it side by side. This, this too, uh, it won't show everything. So you see the outfit, see the hair. Let's go back. See the uh, things around their neck, their outfits as well. The the jewelry around their necks, the outfits as well. You see the jewelry around her neck, the outfits as well for her. Okay. Seminole Indian. Seminole Indian. Seminole men. It's not a good picture, but you can see who they are. Seminole men. Seminole Indian scouts. Okay. They serve as scouts for the army for more than 20 years. This was in the late 1890s. 
and look who they look like. Again, there are no such thing as a black Indian because there's no such thing as a white Indian or pink Indian or blue Indian. All right. There's just one type of Indian and you're looking at them. Indian Chief Seminole Camp near Fort Clark, Texas. Look who they look like to you. All right. Indians, Seminole, both of them. Again, Seminole Scout First Sergeant Ben July, Fort Clark Springs Old Guard House Museum, Bracketville. So, again, there's no such thing as a white Seminole. So, there cannot be a black Seminole. You ju they're just Seminole Indians. That's it. Some more. Seminole Scouts in the 1870s and you read it says while the Seminoles served the nation with honor the nation as in the US the the government promised promised to provide the community with food and land was never fulfilled the unit was disbanded in 1881. So here you have the real Seminoles, the real Indians. Again, they're just like what we've heard before, there are 40 acres and a mule type still stuff, and it was not granted. So we're bringing this stuff to light to let people know worldwide, if they don't know, or if they refuse to acknowledge it, we're putting it in front of them. Here are the real Indians. Here are the real natives of America. And we have Florida again. And then we have the Aztecs when Hernan Cortez met. And look who the Aztecs as well look like. Look at the hair. Look at the phenotype. Look. All right. Look. Now this brings us to the end of the video. If you stayed this far into the video, thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like, share, and subscribe and comment your respectful thoughts down below. Um, please turn on post notification so you'll be informed of my next upcoming episode please take care of yourself please take care of each other i'll see you on the next one peace out